how far we are from a local compiler, Apex compiler. So you have a local compiler today. You just can't do anything with the output. The language server is compiling Apex. It's just not saving the bytecode anywhere. Um, but the runtime is joined at the hip with Salesforce today. Mm. The messaging namespace that sends email, that doesn't use SMTP. That writes to an or a table in the database that's then picked up by a whole separate service that runs in the Salesforce data center for sending email. Okay. And so you wouldn't be able to send email locally because you don't have a swarm of mail servers that are already pre-configured to handle picking up mail from the database and then mm -hmm. actually sending it asynchronously. You would be missing chatter because you don't have those Java APIs running locally. Mm. You'd be missing, so the whole Connect API namespace wouldn't work. I see. You'd be missing DML semantics because there's a layer of the platform called the Universal Data Dictionary that actually is our object relational mapping and schema broker layer, mm -hmm. and you wouldn't have that. So you wouldn't have any knowledge of S objects. It's a local compiler that has all the features that we can really use, at least the most of the features. It really is a compelling you know, a feature that uh, all the developers really want to have. It, it helps us so much, if possible. Yeah, the, in a literal sense, it's possible. Mm -hmm. But I don't think what you get is what you're looking for. Okay. If you just want to run unit tests on arithmetic, mm -hmm. yeah, that could probably run locally. But that's not what you're writing Apex for. You're writing it for triggers. You're writing it for invocable actions that interact with flow. You're writing Apex REST services. Mm. And without the other elements of the platform that empower those, they're not really that useful.